Hello everyone, this is Aaron Fitz from ATF Gaming and welcome back to some more Motorsport Manager today. We are heading off to Milan for the Italian Grand Prix? Right? That's what that is, right? That's, that's an Italian flag, right? Yeah, my lack of geography is, is really standing out. Um, it definitely looks like Monza based on this track map, so I would assume it is. Anyway, let's wrap up what happened last episode. Very mixed bag. Ramon's best finish of the year. Kevin's worst finish of the year. So, definitely a little, a little back and forth. But we have an interview here. Mercedes Botas had a bit of a disaster in his last race, finishing down in ninth. What's your analysis? I'm going to say this one, just so I can get Valtteri buttered up. But he's also injured. He's got a black eye for 10, 10 hours. Okay. What happened? Did the, was there a fight after the race or something? I saw he, he had a penalty, I'm pretty sure. I'm recording this right after the last one. But he had a penalty. Was, there must have been a fight or something after the race. Is there any notice about that? No. Oh, uh, what's the pit crew looking like? Consistently in a bit of a funk with the pit crew, but... um. Hopefully we're getting towards the stage where we can start putting in our regulars again. Um, close. We're getting close. Any hires that are worth my time? No. None at all. Um, I'm only going to hire this guy because of his... Well, not that guy. This guy. No, not even that one. I want this one because he's cheap. Uh, because of the fixing. That's the only reason I want him. You, you're fired. And we'll put this guy in for fixing. We do have front jack that needs some time off. So I can put in... Really not any good substitutions. I can put that there. And him there. Still not a great pick style. I'm trying to figure out why I'm having such an issue with getting good recruits is it like a scouting center thing a staff center thing i don't really understand uh, let me actually look at it is there let's see scouting facility uh that's just drivers staff center that's not relevant at all so i don't know maybe i guess we just have to improve our reputation maybe but um this gearbox should be done Oh, oh, we got some rain coming from Milan as well, so that might take away the engine advantage some people have because Lord knows we don't have that. Um, but I might start an engine this episode. I know that's something we have been thinking about. But actually, the engine's looking pretty good right now, to be honest. Um, once that gearbox is finished, that'll help. But the engine's looking pretty good. Uh, we're actually set here. I don't know why I looked at this. Let's just get that gearbox finished. Uh, and we will get that going on here because this is definitely the most important thing we have to work on now getting that ready for the race excellent and then designing new part if i recall we're maxed out on front wing right we can't go any higher yeah so realistically it's between engine and brakes brakes were fourth Suspension were maxed out as well. These three were maxed out at. Um, we're fifth, or Yeah, let's just go with an engine. Let's go with an engine. I remember very vividly that there's not really good engine choices here. Uh, if we do that, that is 1052. If we do that and that, that's 1037. So, realistically, this is our best bet right here. 1052. Yeah. So, that will not be ready for 20 days after the race. How many days? That's 29 days. So, it might not even be ready for Singapore. But after Singapore, we've got Russia, which is really good for engine. Phoenix, which is really good. Rio de Janeiro. So, I'm, I'm happy with doing this. It might take a little while, but... Hopefully, Isaac, you can get it done for me, right? That's also a very expensive upgrade, too. 
So yeah, we are all set here it looks like. So I'm going to head off to the race assuming there's no like voting or anything going on and I'll see you guys in practice. Alright, we have a dilemma here. Media trained. Uh, Aaron, we both know Ramon could present himself better when it comes to interacting with the press. Famous communications expert Brendan Stone has a slot available in his renowned How to Talk Right media training course. I mean, I would prefer Kevin to be the one that would sign up for this, but yeah, go ahead. We need all the help we can get. Because it's Kevin that's holding us back with sponsors, right? Yeah. But that uh, added like 10% sponsor appeal. So now we're three stars, so that's good, but... Of course, now we don't have any sponsors due until uh, six races time, so. Which is pretty much the end of the season, right? Yeah, six races, so. Oh, well. Anyway, I believe there was also a political vote coming up here. Yeah, we got a new vote to switch to Michelin tires. Interesting. Uh, let, let's see... This will not benefit cars that are easy on tires, which is apparently us. Um, so this is apparently a more durable compound, would be what I'm seeing. More performance focused tires, slightly more speed. They aren't as durable. So maybe Pirelli is even lower than that? I really don't know. Um, I'm just going to abstain because I really don't see a point to voting on this. I'll just let everybody else figure it out. Which appears to be we're going to Michelin tires next year. Let me see. I'm, I'm curious. Oh good. I'm glad I withheld my points because I do not want that to happen. But um, what are the current tires like? We've got Pirelli. Are all about endurance. It might not be as fast. Well how is that worse for me? If anything, that should be better for me because I'm using on tires. I don't know. I don't know. Michelin's coming in next season. Great. Let's head off to Milan. Alright, so. Here we are at practice. I decided to put Kevin in for this practice because this is a pretty short lap time. So we'll be able to get uh, knowledge built up much easier. And plus, who knows, maybe this will have some benefit on him. I really don't know at all if this has any effect on him. But... Um, I'm also using two completely different setups, so we'll see what happens after this uh, banker lap. Alright, so clearly Ramon's setup was slightly better. But we can work with what we got here. So, great on downforce, so handling. I think he said he needed more responsive handling, so we'll go softer. And we'll just see what happens there. We'll send you out on another lap. Kevin... What do we got here? So I'm going to say lower down for us. Is probably the way to go. With the higher top speed. Uh, handling, we are in completely wrong ballpark here. So let's do that. And see what happens there. Okay, that's an improvement. Um... Kevin, you're done. I'm going to send you out on a race trim. Um, let's see. I will do hards. Uh, I feel like we could probably do a little more tweaking with Roman just to see if we could get maybe a little bit better. Um, but it's kind of fine business here. But this is just uh, finesse tweaking. So I'll see you guys off in qualifying. Alright, here we are in qualifying. No rain to be seen, so we will send out everybody on a banker lap. As you can see, I did manage to get uh, Roman up to two excellence, so that's good. And then, yeah, I don't know if Kevin's going to be better because he was in practice or what, but we'll see what happens here. Okay, so things aren't great for Kevin right now. I think we're still fine. We've got six tenths, but I did give Roman that new gearbox, but it was still worse than Kevin's gearbox. So that gearbox must have really been holding Roman back for there to be this much. It's a second gap. 
That's ridiculous, but I do think we're fine. So we'll we'll move on to Q2. All right, Q2, here we are. Again, sending out on a banker lap here, and we'll see where that puts us. I'm a little worried about Kevin here, considering how off pace he was in Q1, but we'll see where, that, where uh, this lap ends up. All right, so Kevin is currently outside uh, the cut zone. He, is, he did do a little better by about a tenth or two than last session, but he's still roughly the same position. So we will have to send him out again. Um, Roman, I think we're pretty safe, so I'm going to trust that we're fine, but we'll send Kevin out now on another set of softs. And we'll see if this could improve here. Hopefully he does, but then again, I'm not completely against you not know, having a free choice of tire. We are in a very large pack here. Uh, and he had a bad warm-up lap, so let's see what happens here. Green first sector, though, but we're already six tenths off the pole. But, um, green second sector, yes, but we're already worse than Roman, and we still have a whole other sector to go. We are 14th. He improved, but he's still getting eliminated. All right, so we're going to kind of have a mixed bag of strategy with Kevin having a free choice of tires, but... Oh, well, I guess that gearbox really is helping Roman. It must have been must have been a big improvement for him. Oh, we've got rain in Q3. We have got rain in Q3, and I don't know where that's going to put us exactly. Um, we'll fast forward a little bit. Obviously, it's into his weather right now. And there is a dry period. I just don't know if it's long enough to get a lap in. But I think we're in the clear to just do one lap at the end of the session. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. One lap at the end of the session. Yep, we're, we're clear with rain, so that's fine. Yeah, I know all about the fact that you haven't put a lap down, but we, we, need, to, we need to make sure we do it in the dry. So we will send you out now. For your one and only qualifying lap, Roman. So let's see what you can do. NASCAR style, one and done. Love it if you could get around that person. Okay, we've got a, quite a bit of traffic here. Not necessarily ideal. I'm hoping that most of that traffic was on the lap last lap, which it does appear to be. Oh, it's raining again. No. Well, seventh, though. Not bad. Not bad. So I adjust myself in my chair here. Eight, eighth. You know what? Despite not having a completely rain free lap because that little blurb came up at the end, then um, might have been seventh. Or six, but Stroll was ahead of us last session too, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that for Roman. Let's head off to the race. I know it said there might have been a little rain, be, might be a little rain in the race, so we'll see what happens. Already seeing some rain drops on the screen. Does that mean we are starting on inters? No, it does not. This is interesting. Is anybody, uh, it's, unlock, it's unlocked tires for everybody. So, free choice of tires really didn't mean anything. Is anybody starting on intermediate? No. Do I go with what everybody else is doing? Or do I maybe risk it with Kevin? Or is that not really enough run to warrant intermediate? So let, let's see. What, there's a little bar on the tire choice screen. Yeah, I realistically think that that's probably going to be a no on the intermediates. If we need to make it to lap 14, though. So let, let's go on hard to start the race for both Kevin and Roman because we do have free choice of tires. And then we can make it to that second rain period. I don't know if you guys can see that well on the on YouTube, but uh, there's a secondary rain period around lap 14, 
and maybe that'll bring some more consistent rain to go on intermediates we will have to just kind of see where we're at but these tires give us a, a little bit of wiggle room to kind of feel out the weather and because we are going on hard tires i will put everybody on attack oh we got to put this on here hard 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 race trim there we go all right Let's start the race and see what happens. I'm, I'm very intrigued by this weather situation, but we are, we are definitely going to have to keep an eye on some of the other drivers and see if they decide to come in for enters or not. Excuse me. Rough start for Roman. Rough start for Roman. Really rough start for Roman. Oh, my. Oh, I know why. Because Roman's really bad in the wet. Wet weather struggler. Can we just call it off? It's pouring. Great. So happy about that. That was a little too fast. Um, Alright, so we're 12th and 13th now. But, to be fair, we're on the hard tires. If things go my way, which it might, depending on how things end up looking with that second rainstorm, we shouldn't have to make an extra pit stop. But we will have to just kind of see where things fall but we will calm things down since we're not really fighting for any meaningful positions here Ramon got back up to 10th so well never mind <laughs> that was fast but um yeah so is Kevin any good in the weather doesn't look like it okay all right so looks like we're pretty much status quo here but I'm gonna keep an eye on that second one. Oh, it's going down again oh no I really don't know. This weather is so frustrating because it's not, it's very borderline as whether we should be going on intermediates or not. Very borderline. But um, I'll just keep an eye on this and I'll bring you guys back in when we're ready for our first set of pit stops. Okay, so here's the situation here. I'm going to pit for enters around lap. 15. It's probably about 50-50 at whether that's actually going to work or not, but it does look like by the end of the race we're going on the full wets. So, I don't really know how we're going to play this, but we for sure can start pushing on the tires. And we've built up some fuel well. Uh, some people have already pitted, as you can see, Leclerc, Gasly, Raikkonen have already pitted. Ricardo's on for enters right now. So he's clearly thinking the same thing I am, but let's let this sort out a bit here. But I'm thinking lap 15, lap 16, we will come in for the um, enters. All right, I'm going to come in this lap with Kevin. One lap earlier than I will with Roman. And then we will bring Roman in next lap. This tire wear is starting to become an issue, but Roman can come in this next lap with enters. Kevin is in. Any mistakes? No nope. clean pit stop all around. We will calm things down on the tires because those need to go a decent length. And for Roman, he will come in this time on enters. It looks like pretty much everybody else has a similar idea, so that's unfortunate that we really didn't have a chance to take advantage of um i mean leclerc gasly and raikkonen are still out there so there is a chance that we could be able to catch up to them uh when they make their pit stop but it, it's so borderline right now that you really don't know what the right answer is so i will keep an eye on things for you guys and i will bring you guys back in when we're ready to go on to those four wet weather tires Okay, so he, uh, I'm bringing guys back in a little earlier. Here's a case in point. We just passed Kimi Raikkonen. He's right there. He's that little red and white car. But he's pretty fast still. I mean, we're a little bit faster, but it's pretty close to the same speed. So I'm not as worried. I think those guys are just trying to stick it out until we go on to full wets, which seems to be the call for Leclerc Gasly and even Hamilton. So um, we still got a couple laps, but I am prepared to... Actually, no, I'm not prepared to push because we are already kind of pushing it on the tire temperature. Mainly because we were out on a dry track, but Ramon has a... Oh, we just passed Leclerc. Hamilton just came in for wet, so did Gasly. 
Um, can I call Kevin in yet, or am I too late? I can call him in. All right, wet for Kevin, please. Uh, what was that orange part? Breaks. Oh, we'll be fine. Um, and then next lap he will come in for Roman. He's already past pit road, so we can do that now. And that'll be to the end of the race there. So we'll attack. But Kevin is good on these tires to the end. We'll push a little bit because we only got six laps to go. In comes Roman, hopefully here. Yep. Clean pit stop, please. Yep. Where is that going to put us? We are still... No, we're ninth. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I am satisfied with that. We got a little fuel, so let's... Oh, Roman just spun. I saw that. Dang it. I didn't like Leclerc before, and you know what? I hate him now. Fair enough. He is under investigation, though. Let's see if he gets penalized or not. He does. He has a time penalty at the end of the race, so we'll have to keep that in mind. But right now, we're 10th and 11th. Uh, we still have three guys who need to pit who are out there on enters, so I expect them to be coming in and maybe sliding behind us. Uh, Hulkenberg, all three of them slotted right between Grosjean and Magnussen. Not what I was looking for there. Not what I was looking for, but we only got five, six laps left. Uh, we got plenty of tires to use, so we'll, we'll keep that on pushing. Kevin, how close are you to those other guys? Not very. Okay. Roman, I really need you to at least stay within most likely 10 seconds of Leclerc, and then we should be able to get that position. But Magnuson, I'm afraid, probably is not going to get points again this race, which is frustrating. It's also ironic because Grosjean hates the wet. But I'm going to have to look at some of the, the parts after this race because it does seem that Grosjean is significantly better than Magnussen now versus earlier in the season, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But, oh well, uh, we are pushing it on fuel here a little bit, so we'll take a lap to bring fuel down. But maybe we do kind of an overhaul at who gets what part uh, for the next race. Um, because I do think Roman is in a significantly better car Oh, Botas has an investigation here as he took the lead from Hamilton momentarily. So that maybe some teammate rivalry there. But um, it's pretty much hopeless for Kevin as far as getting points without somebody getting demoted. But overall, really successful Grand Prix in my opinion. Oh, that was not the end of the race. Never mind. It said 30 of 30, you never know when, when it's actually the end of the race, but, oh well. But, we are 6th place for Kevin, well, not Kevin, Roman, I, I, mm, their names aren't even that close, I don't know why I do that. And then 11th place for Kevin, so, a little disappointing for Kevin, I know, but, um, we'll just have to hope for maybe some inspection issues. I mean, it's kind of like NASCAR fans hoping for expansion issues these days when Kyle Busch wins or something. But, um... But, yeah, overall, it was a decent race. I felt like we handled the strategy well. For the most part, um... Perez, Ricardo, Hulkenberg were the three that stayed out the longest on the intermediates. And that... Did not help them get past Grosjean, but it did help them stay ahead of Madison, so. Oh, well. Could have been better, could have been worse. For sure. Oh, we we got lucky. Multiple people. Multiple people with inspection issues. We've got Lando Norris. Kimi Raikkonen. And again, Lewis Hamilton. From the win. Again. Gets penalized. Let's see, I don't think Kimmy would have had any, any impact. No, he only moved up one position. But that now put Roman into the top five and Kevin into the top ten. 
And with this 10 second time penalty, Max Verstappen almost won the race. You, it's, that's a tenth of a second. That's as close as it gets in race form for Formula One. Now, obviously, it didn't look that way in the track, but um, act, this race between Verstappen and Vettel was pretty close. Um, but, but yeah, so that is good for us. We got 11 points to Renault's 10. Well, maybe not as good as I was hoping. Uh, point standings look pretty much the same, and so do the championship standings. We've got a long way to go to get to Renault for sure. Alright, we got some marketability perks here. Everybody's pretty happy with that race. Decent money payout. Botas wins Hamilton despite getting penalized twice out of out of a win to zero point. He's still leading the point standing somehow. I have no idea how, honestly. Gasly has just not had a good season for Red Bull. That's unfortunate. I mean, it's pretty similar to real life how it happened, but still. It's unfortunate to see. Just like real life, I would have loved for Pierre to have had a better, better shake of it. But... That's going to be it for this episode today. Next episode, we will be heading off to the Singapore Grand Prix, which is a very tough race. Not going to sugarcoat it at all. It's a very tough race. So that's something to look forward to. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content from ATF Gaming, be sure to hit that red subscribe button. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.